What's up, everybody? This is the Robozoid, and once again, I feel compelled to talk about sports. Why? Not that I particularly like sports or anything, certainly not soccer, although I don't really think that's actually a sport. Besides, you can't play with your hands, so that automatically disqualifies it as being a sport. Anything you can't use your hands for cannot be a sport. Tap dancing isn't a sport, so there you go. Well, Megan Rapino decided to go out in a blaze of failure when she did this really awkward and awful kick that just totally cost America their spot in the uh, World Championship of Soccer, losing out to Sweden, of all countries. So, yeah, that's how she ended her career. Just check out some of the stuff that's actually written here. And there is a meme even here, which is kind of funny. I'll probably share it in a, sh in a quickie vid. So this is how Megan Rapino chose to end her career. By doing this terrible choke of the kick that, well, cost America their spot in the World Championship soccer competition as they ended up losing to Sweden. Very nice, you blue-haired goon. The ultra-woke per- oh, I'm sorry, her hair was purple. Okay, she's still a purple-haired goon, but her antics cost America the World Cup championship as they've been eliminated from the whole deal, losing to Sweden. Real nice, you psycho dyko from hell. And of course, here's a picture of Biden giving her the Congressional Medal of Freedom for doing nothing more than being a hypocritical whiny bitch. Even President Trump tweeted, or ex I guess whatever they're calling it now, the shocking and totally unexpected loss of the U.S. women's soccer team to Sweden is totally emblematic of what is happening to our once great country. Under crooked Joe Biden, many of our players were openly hostile to America. No one in no other country behaves in such a manner, not even close. Woke equals failure. Nice shot, Megan. The U.S. is going to hell. MAGA. You know, sometimes I can't believe how easy this job actually is. Making fun of the pretensions of celebrities and dumb sports people, ridiculous athletes, and idiotic statements that they say. Well, let's see. Apparently, our purple-haired lesbo friend had this to say at some sort of interview or press conference or whatever the hell. A memory that stands out to you right now in this moment. Oh, um, I mean, probably equal pay chance um, after the final. Um, and I think, you know, they're saying... By the way, I've got to stop here for a second. I got to ask this question. Why do all these bull dykes look like, look like little men? I mean, between her and Ellen DeGenerate and uh, Katie Lang and whoever else, Linda Ellerby, I don't think she's still alive. But why do all these little dykish looking women look like little tiny men? It's just, it's creepy. Equal pay, but could have been saying a lot of things. I think this team has always fought for so much more and... Uh, that's been rewarding for me, of course. Playing it's World always fun for so much more. And doing all that, but, um, you know, to know that we've used our really special talent to do something, you know, that's really, like, changed the world forever. I think that means the most to me and, you know, the players in this locker room here. Um, oh. They're just getting started. Oh, whine, whine, whine. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Play the victim for all I give a damn. God, you're so pathetic. And then, you know, to all the players that I've played with, obviously, um, you know, who know what it's like to be in the grind. Um, I mean, that's got to be the most dumbass, imbecilic, idiotic thing I've ever heard in a press conference. Oh, my biggest and proudest moment was when I changed the world by complaining about how women are getting paid so little compared to manses. <laughs> Yeah, right. My heart bleeds for you. Sure. I couldn't care less. Quite frankly, I'm glad to see this. <clears throat> I'm glad to see this 69 assault go. Because quite frankly, she's boring the pee out of me. This broad is such an utter bore. 
always going on and on about herself. She changed the world. She made it possible for women to get equal pay. Hey, bitch, women have had equal pay for a long time. Maybe not in your little sportsy thing, but everywhere else, they did. Stadiums, we've broken viewing records, and yet despite all of this, we're still paid less than our male counterparts. Megan Rapino, a star of the team, speaking to Congress on Equal Pay Day. If it can happen to me, with the brightest light shining on us at all times, it can. Why are you dressed like Amber Turd? And, and it does happen to every person who is marginalized by gender. Anyway, what Megan Rapino just said there was not only demonstratively not true, but it's also a cop out. Quite frankly, well, they're not getting equal pay because of the sport they play. As a matter of fact, those athletes actually don't make the money. The real people behind, the real people, be the real money makers are actually their agents, their promoters, and the promoters of the events, not the athletes. I can't believe she doesn't know this for as long as she's been in this game. Oh yeah, and another thing, the reason why she doesn't get equal pay like male soccer players do, because there isn't much of an audience for women's soccer. More spectators are going to pay a lot more money for men's soccer and other men's sports, because that's just how it works. Well, to quote the late Walter Con Cronkite, or is it Walter Crankhouse, and that's the way it is, because that really is the way it is. That's why the men are getting paid a lot more, because their sports are far more interesting than your little sissy slap fights, Megan. You want some proof? Well, here it is. Well, a lot of these leagues have to actually give away tickets for people to, to see women's soccer, because it's not as exciting as men's soccer. It doesn't sell tickets, and it's overall just pure bit, pure dag nasty boring. That's all there is to it, really. Now, here's where I have to call out Rapino's hypocrisy, because she actually did call for the endorsement of, of having biological men compete in women's soccer. Yeah, this is why she hasn't spoken out uh, you know, with any of the other female athletes against trans men being involved in their sports. Now, let's face it here. We all know that these are Nancy boys and girly men who couldn't possibly compete in real men's sports. They're not big enough. They're not strong enough. So they've got to compete against the women's. I guess I shouldn't say women's because, yeah, they really are under attack here. They're competing against real women. And Megan Rapino thinks this is just fine. You have heard right. Megan Rapino honestly thinks that Real women complaining about these trans testicle dudes uh, being placed in their sports and competing against them. She really thinks that their complaints are bullshit. And that's why she hasn't said a word about any of it. She also makes the argument that trans women are real women, whatever that means. And that's why you haven't heard her speak out against, Trump, against uh, these fairies in women's sports, trying to take away and compete with them, trying to take away their dignity and livelihoods in their own sports by usurping them and pretend cosplaying as chicks. That's why you haven't heard anything about it. Because Megan Frappino wholeheartedly, what am I saying wholeheartedly for? Whole acidly supports trans, and, trans dudes in women's sports. But this is where things get even more absurd, where apparently this grown women's soccer team actually got a severe thumping from a boys soccer team in DC. So they played against a DC boys team. And you know what happened? The boys crushed the girls, these adult women, five to two. I'm not joking. And to put that all into perspective, well, Here's what happens. Just watch the play-by-play. -play. You see this? Yeah, these young boys are creaming these adult women. Now, we're going to play you this clip from Megyn Kelly's uh, recent podcast or satellite radio show. And 
I think she's going to give you a little bit more of the play-by-play, -play, and she'll also mention how Megan Rapino herself competed in this soccer match uh, of adult women against prepubescent boys. Let's take a look. Hit it, Megan. Now that she's made all of her millions, she has a little message for the rest of us, and that is we're not allowed to say anything she doesn't approve of when it comes to trans athletes. She says uh, to Time Magazine that in particular she's got a problem with Dave Chappelle, Martina Navratilova, and Sage Steele. She goes on and says that what's happening here is women's sports is being, quote, weaponized. Show me all the trans people who are nefariously taking advantage of being trans in sports. It's just not happening. <sighs> Okay, really? Megan Rapino, stand by. All right, I'll start with the obvious. Leah Thomas, the North okay. Carolina volleyball player who seriously injured another high school girl in playing opposite her. Austin Killups in cycling. Rachel McKinnon in cycling. Here's some other trans cyclists. Tara Saplavi, Leslie Mumford, Tiffany Thomas, Molly Cameron, Emily Bridges in running, Terry Miller, and Andrea Yearwood. Right. Athena Ryan, the weightlifter. Laurel Hubbard. We could keep going. We could go all day long. Do your homework. Do your homework before you get out there and spew a bunch of nonsense. Oh my God, I can't stop laughing about that. That is pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> Adult women, including this Daiko Megan Rapino, they got crushed by kids. <laughs> crushed by kids? How embarrassing. No wonder this purple-haired goon is retiring. She can't even hold her own against a 12-year-old. <laughs> oh, well, I hope you've enjoyed making fun of Megan Rapinoe's misery every bit as much as I have. God knows this is always fun for me. This has been the Robozoid saying, I've already mentioned that Megan Rapinoe will never, ever, ever, ever learn the, the, what wokeness being weakness is all about because she's too far gone. And also, I imagine she doesn't really care what the people think. She doesn't care about opinions because she's such a victim. And it's all about me, 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 me. And it certainly can't be about the people, nor can it be about the power to the music in the streets. Although in her case, I think it's probably a rainbow-colored street. <laughs>